<laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Jake here, got a new game in the current Steam Summer Sale, The Fruit of Grisaya! I'm really hoping it's a fruit dating sim, but that seems unlikely. It's from the guys who made it for my heart had wings! So let's get into this, dude! Intense sunlight is blazing down the road as if to declare the arrival of summer. The burning asphalt radiates heat, mixing with the scent of the tide to form a thick, muggy atmosphere. Ah, uh, you know it's way too early for this kind of weather. When the temperature's that normally high, you're always gonna get some people who lose their heads and start acting erratically. That's what I always say, dude. In other words, it's only natural the police would be on the lookout for suspicious types at times like these. Uh, that seems weird that they'd arrest people just because it's hot out, but fine, who am I to judge? It was about ten minutes ago I realized I'd been mistaken for one of those heat stroke adult sorts. We've been talking to the police for ten minutes, that's alarming. Name. Kaza Ooh! They have voices! Look at this! Oh, that saves me so much work! Anyways, we're getting arrested! Are we in a car? Presumably, since we're at a stoplight, sweat pouring from his forehead as he examines my license. The policeman in front of me takes a glance at the large backpack I'm carrying, then continues the background check. Sure, I mean, I don't know where the fuck I came from. Yes! Look, it's none of your business what my business is, sir. I'm just here to fuck bitches and get money. That's what Yuji's here for. I told you this ten minutes ago, I'm moving! This luggage is everything I own! What? You're moving with everything in one car? You maniac! Where are we moving to? Uh, like I said, I don't have one yet! I just packed up all my belongings and this car was gonna drive around until I found a place to live! Oh god! Yeah, don't put up with this bullshit, Mr. Policeman. Yeah, you're just gonna move but you don't have a place to live. Yeah, tell him the truth, tell him about the bodies in the trunk. Yuji. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you go from, Cotton Eye Joe? Depending on the context, these could be fairly philosophical questions. But as far as police inquiries go, they're pretty run-of-the-mill. From their perspective, anyone wandering around without a clear-cut business is by default a criminal of some sort. Let alone someone like me, carrying around conspicuous bulky luggage full of body parts. It's because guaranteed they'd stop me. That is their job, I suppose, to stop ordinary citizens for being suspicious. Since this little scene acts as a crime deterrent through its visibility, it's not an entirely waste effort, although it is a waste of my time, so I'm pissed. But unfortunately, I don't have all day to play along. I drop a glance towards the digital watch I'm wearing around my left wrist. I'm glad they specified which wrist he wears his watch on. Uh, sorry, but I'm keeping someone waiting. I can't really spare any more time for hanging out with bored cops. Oh, I'm sure they love that. Yeah, I am mocking you. What the fuck are you gonna do about it, Mr. Policeman? A uh, bored police force is proof that the city's at peace. Take it as a compliment. Inexplicably taking offense at my tone, because I was very insulting to him, the policeman clicks his tongue in irritation and tosses my yeah. license back. Yeah, that's right. Walk away, you fucking asshole. I don't need you. Yeah, sure, take a look at all the cocaine in my bag. It'll make you mad jelly. I refuse. Yeah, I'm carrying a knife in my backpack. And I'm just riding it shotgun. What the fuck? Are all of my belongings in one backpack, by the way? I don't rely on blades, policy of mine. I just use my fists. Look, are you really going to tell me to unpack all this stuff on the spot? It'll take like an hour at least. 30 minutes just to take it all out and 30 minutes to put it back in. Not counting for the 30 minutes for you to look yeah, at it. Yeah, just arrest him for... What, having a backpack? Is that his crime? I feel like you can't arrest people for that, but I'm not Japanese. Look, I just told you I don't have the time. I can't accept voluntary questioning. I know you can't just back down in this situation, but if I say I'll head over there myself later, could we wrap this up for now? Uh, you don't, because I was lying to you. I'm not gonna go there. I'm a criminal. I'm gonna go do crime elsewhere in the city. As I've explained, I'm in the middle of a move and I don't know where I'm moving to. Life's funny that way. <laughs> Anyways, I vacated my old place, so I don't have an address. Yeah, everyone's homeless. Look, can you not make fun of my homeless parents, please? I don't have any parents, no siblings or relatives either. They're all dead. Thanks for asking, though. Love that you brought that up. What, 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 what crime does he think he's got me on? I don't think he can just hold me for this. I didn't do anything, dude. Uh, this is going nowhere! Dude, please, you can't arrest me for just, like, being here, right? I don't think driving is a crime. If I'm even driving, all we have is this close-up of this stoplight. 
Then at least let me call the person I'm supposed to be meeting. At this rate, they'll be waiting all day. Wow, you are so nosy, my dude. Just calm it down. No, I'm meeting an enemy. We're gonna have a knife fight. I'm not gonna tell you that. <laughs> yeah, it's the Mafia. It's Captain Don. It's your mom. We had an appointment at a hotel tonight. <laughs> Please don't arrest me. Huh? I was just keeping quiet out of the goodness of my heart. You dragged it out of me, so please don't blame me when your parents get divorced and your happy home is shattered. Wow, this guy really does want to get arrested, though. Although, I like the balls on this kid. He's much better than whatever the fuck the kid's name was in that other game. Erwin? Not Erwin. It was something stupid. N no. Oh, we've killed someone. I know, I'm surprised, too. I thought we were stopped. About 30 minutes away from where we're talking, someone screams. I wonder if it's that woman. A desperate cry follows within seconds. <laughs> that is, someone called my name. Someone needs a thief? A woman sits collapsed on the street, stretching out her hand. Her high heels lie on the ground, knocked off her feet by the sudden fall. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Nonsense. Just about halfway between us, there's a man in a flashy Hawaiian shirt running in this direction. <laughs> Your plan was to run at the cop? You're a very bad thief, dude. Although the thief flinches for a moment at the sight of the policeman's uniform. After a quick check for any convenient side street, he barrels on where this plan sucks. Uh, he's a cop. He's gonna, like, kill you or arrest you or something, right? Brandishing the stolen bag menacingly, you're gonna hit him with the bag. His hand violently gestures out of my way, please. Oh, what happened to all your confidence? Are you done arresting ordinary civilians? The cop is completely flustered. He's quite clearly unaccustomed to this sort of situation. Wow, what a useless piece of shit. While he's panicking, the distance between us and the thing shrinks with surprising swiftness. Almost as if he's running at us. Yeah, police move. The man runs in a straight line toward a breakthrough to freedom. I had to be standing directly in the middle of his path. So we're not in a car, we're just walking? But this plan sucks. Why, why were we looking at a stoplight if we were wa Whatever. Whatever. We're not moving, by the way. We're going to beat his ass with our bag. As he prepares to strike with the bag, I ascertain the, mo the movement of his shoulder and arm from the first signs of motion and hit his wrist sharply as he begins to swing. Man, we are good. Yeah, get fucked, kid. The man's arm instantly stiffens and loses all momentum. His eyes pop wide in shock. I immediately grab the color of the Hawaiian shirt he's wearing and firmly draw him towards me, and then we kiss. Before the man can offer resistance to my pull, I smoothly reverse and use my body weight to shove against him. Oh wow, this is so hot. When pushed, just they begin to brace themselves against being pulled. Anyone ex except a genuine expert is going to be thrown off balance. <laughs> nice shirt! Where did you buy it? The toilet store? <laughs> yeah, I bet he did. Fucking idiot. We got him, dude. Shock spreads across this man's face as his knees buckle against his will. I try to gain a chokehold using my grip on the neck of his shirt, but please don't kill this man. All he did was steal a purse. Whoa, whoa, okay, now we can kill him. That's rude. The man promptly draws his head back and shifts his body to his side, preventing me from landing a hold on his neck. Aw, now we can't choke him. Although I expect as much from a glance at his build, it seems he's somewhat experienced in judo. But... In this case, you would have been better off trying a decisive tackle, you idiot! Rotating around the purse snatcher in the opposite direction of his slide, I yank his right arm upward with both hands. In one movement, I've circled to his back. Wow, fucking got him, dude. Yeah, get fucked, kid. Next, pull back on the opponent's wrist and elbow and pin him to the ground. This is just basic Aikido, by the way. Man, what a cool guy, explaining his moves as he does them. Oh, there we are. We have a tie in everything, man. Whoa, 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 watch your language, dude. There's probably children watching, probably not. Hey, now, you've got your priorities all wrong. Before worrying about me, you should kill the guy who sold you that shirt. Oh, fucking hell, dude, this guy's got jokes. Fucking sick burn, Yuji. Get him, dude. Is that the sound of his bones? Have we shattered them? Is he okay? Perhaps unconsciously, the man's now empty right hand desperately slaps at the asphalt. While holding the thief pinned, I quickly shoot a look behind me. Oh, don't just stand there! Yeah, 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 you do your job, Mr. Policeman. Policeman jerks up straight in response to my angry shout, taking a pair of handcuffs from the pouch around his waist. Oh, he's got a fanny pack, adorable. He runs over to restrain the crim criminal. The purse snatcher seems to have resigned himself to his fate and doesn't offer any pointless resistance. He accepts his red-handed arrest for thief docilely, and then sits quietly on the ground with his head hung as the policeman radios for backup. You don't need backup, we got him, dude. Apparently they weren't too far off as a siren approaches in no time. Oh, good work. We solved the game. We win, right? Case of the perch snatcher? Closed. Two policemen get out of the arriving cruiser and push the criminal into the back seat. 
As I'm quietly watching the scene in perfect passivity, well, I don't want to call it perfect, the policeman from earlier runs over. <sighs> yeah, you're welcome. Anyways, are you still gonna arrest me, or can I go? I'll pass on the letter of thanks, so how about letting me move on? Really? Why? I'm busy! This sucks! I helped you! I figured as much. Shaking my head in exasperation, I silently rebuked myself. Should have just left it alone. As the policeman pushes at my back, I glance at my wristwatch. A glance at my wristwatch informs me I'm already late. Got it. Wow, that sentence was really hard for me for some reason. Anyways, we're getting better at reading, I promise. It's that hooked on phonics. What the fuck? It's a date. Also, this game's like really old. I think it came out like 2013. Talk about what? I ain't telling you shit. I ain't no rat. 30 minutes have passed since I was brought to the interrogation room. Familiar is the place where criminals break into flop sweat and TV dramas. Oh, they break into a sweat. They don't break into it and then sweat. That makes more sense. I'm sitting on a cheap foldable pipe chair. My arms folded in perfect silence. I don't, I don't even want to be here. You can't charge me. I want my lawyer. Fuck off, dude. I'm already late. I want my phone call. Yeah, you go, Yuji. You ain't no narc. Instead of responding, I closed my eyes. A silent statement indicating I have absolutely no intention of opening my mouth. Why aren't we talking to the police, though? Like, I get like, ooh, mystery man. I mean, maybe we're actually a criminal, but if we're just like, yeah, no, I'm like... Moving, and I like helped them catch that purse snatcher. You know, like we'd have them, right? Detective clicks his tongue in exasperation at my attitude. I've got a pretty fair idea of what I'll be doing next. Okay, yelling will get you nowhere, guy. Let's calm it down. How about a nice cup of cocoa? The sound of something being struck an even louder attempt at intimidation. This is the point where a timid guy would be jumping in his seat with his eyes open or maybe staring at the floor and quivering. But not Yuji. My eyes are still shut, my arms are still folded quietly. My mind is a total blank, just in case he's a mind reader. I've been accustomed to adults shouting at me like this since I was a child. Aw, tragic backstory. Following the threat stage, the next step would be for him to grip my hair and jolt me back and forth. Pretty sure that's illegal, that's assault, but I'm dealing with an official authority group here. I should get off without direct violence this time. Hey, look at that. Not to say they won't pull out the old TV cliches and harass me by shining a desk lamp in my eyes or something of the sort. Yeah, dude, you can't charge me. Like, let me go. I can roughly translate the detective sigh. Goddamn kids these days. Fucking millennials, you know? I gently open my eyes in order to sneak a look at this disgruntled face. Oh my god, he's invisible. He's not even here. The detective sitting in front of me seems to be cha challenging the Guinness World Record for the most dramatic asymmetry between the left and right sides of a human mouth? Or maybe he's just scowling. Probably that one. When I let out a snore of laughter in response to the unexpectedly pleasant sight, the detective scratches his head violently and glares at me. Yeah, it's because we're being rude. I'm not playing dumb, I'm just not talking to you, dude. You're being very rude. It won't gain you anything, but it won't lose you anything either, except your time. And apparently I have all the time in the world. I turn my gaze to the clock on the wall of the sweat box. Wow, that's a shitty name. An hour has already passed since the scheduled time for my meeting. Okay, once again, yelling will get you nowhere. Let's talk in a civilized manner. The detective strikes the desk with excellent comic timing. The best part is the way he knocks his ashtray off the table every time he does this. <sighs> yeah, you're gonna have to clean that, right? Or like, the janitor will, and that's rude, that's very inconsiderate of you. His tone distinctively fed up. He stoops down to pick up the plastic tray off the floor. Hey, Kazami Yuji, occupation criminal, I, I mean student, I don't do crimes. Yeah, I said that too. Look, I think I've made it pretty clear that I don't really want to be here, so like, how about we just go? See, look at this. Me, a perfectly normal citizen who has not done anything. So, okay. So, by your logic, someone who has not done a crime, but also has not done a good job, is a weirdo. I feel like that's most of the public, but maybe I'm just being optimistic over here. Waiting it out. Ooh, yikes. Big yikes. Let's let's watch our tone now. It's very insensitive. Anyways. Hey, Kazumi Yuji, occupation student. <laughs> yeah, I'm a terrorist. You fucking caught me. Why why am I why is this guy even here? This sucks. Can we get to like the thing? Hey, Kazumi Yuji, occupation student! <laughs> Look, dude, you are the one who wanted me to talk. Like, pick a lane, dude. First it says something, now it's shut up. Talk about hard to please. 
Our capricious Detective Scowls yet again scratches his head. Flakes of dandruff drift grandly through the air. Ew, 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 ew. Ew, that's revolting. They have special shampoo for that, dude. Based on this, th his thoroughly wrinkled sh suit and heavy stubble, I'd say he hasn't been home in days. God, dude, just go home. Get some sleep. I'm sorry. Nah, nah, nah. No, thank you. Your shoes are probably full of dandruff. You're so gross. Another sigh. It's enough to make me want to heave one myself. Because we both take our work seriously. Things like we're stuck going around in circles. Man, if only there were a way you couldn't have arrested me, you know? Like, if only I hadn't done all those crimes that I did. Oh, wait, I didn't do anything. I was just walking with a suitcase, or even a backpack, maybe. Just we roughly complete this exchange of one side of bitterness and mutual glaring, there's a well-timed knock at the door and the sound of it being unlocked. A slightly pump elderly detective enters the room. Ah, yes, Papa Bear. Given the respectful tone of the detective and the fact that he called him chief, I've been chatting with. He's probably a superior of some sort. Man, we are very smart. No, it's just me. Hi, hello. Hi, chief. It's me. Your son? That's... You know, let's be optimistic here. After a quick glance in my direction, the elderly detective whispers something in the younger man's ear. Before long, the younger detective turns towards me with a decidedly nonplussed expression. Oh, wow, you can't just hold a kid for no reason? Wow, what a twist. Why now, all of a sudden? Well, okay, maybe I was asking the chief behind you anyways later, idiot. With those parting words, the young detective leaves the room. The elderly detective watches him go and then faces me with a greasy smile. Ew. Wow, apparently I have a lot of pull in this place. Garant? What, 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 what? What the fuck does any part of the sentence mean? The detective stares at me with eyes like a dead fish. Ew. This game has really gross analogies, or similes. Yeah, I don't know what this means at all. I don't know what anything's happening. Uh, if you'd known I was from Ichigaya from the start, wouldn't you have thrown me in jail, stripped me naked, and sprayed me down with a hose? Okay, wow, that escalated very quickly. I'm gonna go on a limb and say he wouldn't have done that. <laughs> Oh, was a funny joke. What in the fuck? What are we talking about? Like, maybe it's because I don't actually speak Japanese, but I don't know what's happening. Well, just to let you know, I'm nothing but a student. My work at Ichigaya is only a part-time cleaning job. Wow. Don't sell yourself short, kid. You also know judo or keto or something. Is that like a fancy way of saying he's like a cleaner? Like he's an assassin? You know what I mean? Like he's a badass assassin? Eggheads. Oh, we're smart. Okay, cool. Good to know. In response to my words, the detective twists his mouth into something vaguely resembling a smile. Aw, he tried. Look, dude, I ain't talking to no coppers. I ain't no rat. Fuck off. Besides, we wouldn't have been in this predicament in the first place if you hadn't arrested me for walking. I didn't even do anything. Sarcasm dri dripping from every pore of his body, the detective treats me with transparently insincere courtesy. Wow, what an asshole. He's perfectly civil on a superficial level, but the atmosphere in here is growing increasingly unpleasant. The younger detective from before, hard ass that he was, seems infinitely preferable. Uh, did you inquire to Ichigaya about me? Didn't you, didn't you do that before? Isn't that how you knew that I wasn't, like, a criminal or whatever? Oh, wow, we are, like, some fancy, fancy boy with the Ministry of Defense. Wow, I wonder what we're defending everyone from. Oh, wow, that's so sweet. They called me a dog. That's so cute. Oh, my God, this guy's the worst. <laughs> Good joke. Well, since you found my owner and confirmed that my leash is properly attached, I should be able to leave now, right? Didn't he? Didn't the other cop said that we should have left like hours ago? Okay, so are we like we're like secret agents who go to high school or something retarded like that. Okay, you know I can dig it though. Maybe maybe we're a fruit, not like a you know you know what I mean, like an apple or something. Oh, is that so? We don't have a way to contact our higher-ups 
or like a track, whatever. You know what? Fuck it. Who the fuck cares? Right? Doesn't it doesn't it seem like this super secret agency would take better care of its people? Oh, where's my backpack? No, I want to walk. Why did you arrest me? All my shit better still be in that bag. I'll fucking kill you. Hey, you're not getting funds from public taxes in order to show for bums like me around, are you? I'll walk. Thank you very much. All right. Well, now that we've managed to avoid the law and talk to boring police officers for about 10 hours, I'm going to draw this episode to a close. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like that, don't forget to like and subscribe. And be sure to tune in next week for more whatever shit fuck with yours truly i'll see you guys then